Hey, this is Vikas Gopali, and this is my video response to The Power of Babel, the sixth chapter of Ramachandran's book. I thought it was interesting as usual, though unfortunately a lot of the stuff just flew over my head. Not necessarily because it was too complex, but just because it was so contrary to common sense. But, I mean, I guess this, that's just how things work out sometimes. What I really did like, was, though, was the concept of exaltation versus evolution where exaltation is just adapting a existing or a duplicated feature and then using it for whatever. Like how feathers were exalted from the dinosaur scales and the ear bones were exalted from jaw bones. Uh, one I guess point of contention I had with Ramachandran was his explanation, not explanation, I guess his belief that animals don't have the, what, what do you refer to as a language acquisition device mechanism? Uh, I'm not, I'm not actually, yeah, sorry. I'm not an expert on this, and this, the study could have been fake, but there was one, or several chimpanzees that have reportedly learned uh, American Sign Language up to, I think, like 200 or 300 words of it. And not just rote memorization, but they are able to apply the existing words they have to make new words. Like when they saw a thermos, they were like, they signed, I think it was like hot water and cup. And when they see us, sorry, when they saw a swan, they were able to sign water and bird. And another, just, I just, I a side note to that. Another interesting anecdote from, I think, I think Chimpanzee was named Washu, but apparently she noticed one of her caretakers was missing for several weeks, and at first she was very, she tried to give her the cold shoulder, but then the caretaker signed to her that, I think, baby died because she had a miscarriage earlier, and that's why she was missing. And then Washu, because Chimpanzees can't cry, so she made the sign for a tear, I'm missing is that, and I mean that's pretty profound because having an animal recognize the meaning of the words and enough to sympathize is just mind blowing. I mean, of course, this is an and or it could have been over exaggerated or just falsely reported, but I mean the implications are pretty cool, even if it's not exactly related to this. But yeah.